And as, uh, as both Jayateka and, and uh, Rojaka said, with me, it was very specific because it was a particular time in his life and, and he understood that I had. So I remember him sending me specifically to Chenna Sharada teacher to just do Keta Taka Tari Keta Tum. To Jaya teacher specifically to do Takte Daha to get that halt, halt quality. You know, to, to Pushpa teacher to learn Tamra Saksha directly from her. And he was very, he loved he loved the fact that I was very serious about my ballet singing. So he never told me in my dancing not to jump. He would say jump, show them that you can jump. You know, equally, I remember when we, when I studied Nitya Kalyani from him, that beautiful moment, right? I was such a kid when Meenakshi sees Shiva for the first time. I will never forget it. And he said, you know, it should be so subtle, just use the, the small echo to show it, but you should so show the transition her transition through just the muscles of your eyes softening. And because you have studied Odyssey, allow the hip to slowly fall into a tribanga. Don't feel you can't show tribanga because we're doing he was so open like this, depending on who's which I think which student he had. For me, what was amazing was he allowed me to try with virtuosity, to do the triple turns after my jumps and all this, to, to, to burn it out of me. And I was fortunate enough still to have him travel with me and do Natwagam. When I started to shift, when I started to be curious about Abhinaya, to be curious about you know stillness, to be curious about interpretation and not just the body anymore, right? Um, and we had long discussions, many discussions, Lakshman sir and I, about ideas. I remember talking to him about Manmata. Manmata is my most, uh, still to, till today, my favorite character. 